In part one, chapter six of A Clockwork Orange, the boys head to Old Town, home to many older people who own pictures and jewels and other pre-plastic items tourists prefer. A large home called the Manse is their target. Through its barred windows, the gang can see the old woman pouring milk into saucers for her many cats. Valuable paintings and clocks adorn the walls. Alex rings the bell, then calls through the mail slot in the door, asking to use the phone to call a doctor for his sick friend. But the woman thinks Alex is trying to sell her something and refuses to open the door. Spotting a sash window above the door, Alex pretends to leave, then stands on Dim's shoulders and climbs to the stone sill, where he breaks the window and enters. He hears the old woman talking to her cats downstairs and decides to prove himself to his fickle and worthless droogs by killing the woman and then opening the front door, treasure in both fists. Alex grabs a silver statuette and accosts the woman as she sits with her many cats. Undaunted, the woman calls Alex a villainous toad, threatening him with her cane. As he moves toward her, he's distracted by a small bust of Beethoven and trips over a saucer of milk. The woman whacks him repeatedly in the head with her cane until he grabs it, throwing her off balance. He kicks her, cursing and trying to reach the lovely Ludwig in frowning like stone. He steps on a cat's tail and finds himself under attack by cats and again by the woman who knocks him down. Alex strikes the woman's head with the silver statue, but hears sirens in the distance. He realizes that the woman had been talking to someone on the phone who heard their fight and called the police. He fumbles with the door's many locks and yells at Dim to run. Pete and Georgie are gone, but Dim is waiting, and he vindictively lashes Alex's eyes with his chain, leaving Alex blinded and alone to face the police. One officer says, little Alex, all to our own selves. Others' betrayals and Alex's own flaws pivot the action in this chapter. The stone bust distracts Alex, causing him to trip and giving the old woman a slight and temporary advantage. The chapter ends ironically. Alex, who likes to be the center of attention and enjoys his reputation for violence, now finds himself too well-known by the officers who arrest him. 